Hi, I'm Todd Langwell, the Flying Furniture Guy from R&D Woodshop in Scotia, New York. Today I want to show you how to repair wood chair legs. Okay, you can see I've got a nice break here uh, on this chair. Somebody must have stepped on this, used this as something else than what it should have been. This is really support for the chair, it's not to be stepped on. What you first want to do is determine the size of the dowel uh, that you want to replace this. I use a caliper uh, to set it to the depth or the width of the uh, um, rung. You want to determine how wide that is. You can put it right up to your ruler. You can see that's three quarters of an inch right there. Okay. And then you want to test it on your dowel to make sure you've got the right one, which you can see that I have here. What I like to do is I like to use a spreader on this chair. this does is it this spreads the chair out just enough so it might pop out another one or it gives you a chance to get this one out what you want to do is you want to wiggle it go back and forth there it goes so what you need to determine is you need to determine the approximate length of that dowel so you take a measurement edge to edge, I'll show you from this side, edge to edge is about 13 and 3 quarters, but then you got to remember that you have to stick it inside the dowel or inside the back leg. Those depths are usually around 3 quarters of an inch of an inside depth from where the dowel has to go. So you want to be sure to add the distance of where that dowel goes in and where this dowel goes in. Uh, to the total distance. So I set it 13 and 3 quarters plus an inch and a half. So we know that if we have 13 uh, and 3 quarters and an inch and a half, we have 15 and a quarter. So we mark off our dowel, 15 and a quarter. So you want to just give yourself a little bit of a mark where this dowel has to be uh, taken back a little bit. You can use the same measurement for the other side. Just it's an approximate. And you mark it all the way around. Now there's a number of different ways in order to get this kerf at the end. You can use a radial arm, you can use you can use a bandsaw. What I like to use is so I like to use an X-Acto knife and I, I score it all the way around the outside edge and then you can use a chisel or a knife you're going to pull it back until you're pulling out just a little bit so you're basically carving out the end of the dowel all the way around until it fits inside that hole. You can see it needs to go a little bit more. Once you get it to that point, you go ahead and test it. See how it's going to fit. You can see I could probably go just a little bit more. We'll go just a touch. When you shove it in there, there'll be some marring on the outside. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. 
but there'll be some marring on the outside of the new cuts, and that'll tell you exactly where you have to shim it or shave it just a little bit more. Now, oh, there we go. Well, that fit right in there now. You see that fit all the way down to the bottom? And that's it. Once you fit it into the one side, you're going to do the exact same thing to fit it into the other. You're going to add glue and uh, clamp it down. And I'm Todd Langwell, the Flying Furniture Guy, and this was How to Repair Wood Chair Legs. I'm Todd Langwell, the Flying Furniture Guy from R&D Woodshop in Scotia, New York. Today I want to show you how to repair wood chair legs. Okay, you can see I've got a nice break here uh, on this chair. Somebody must have stepped on this, used this as something else than what it should have been. This is really support for the chair, it's not to be stepped on. What you first want to do is determine the size of the dowel uh, that you want to replace this. I use a caliper uh, to set it to the 